A former NFL star is picking up the pieces of his trashed home. Hundreds of teenagers broke in and partied there while he was out of town. Jan Crawford shows us how he's using the web to fight back. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. The kids who partied at this home in upstate New York caused an estimated $30,000 in damage, and many of them posted the whole thing on social media. But now the football player is trying to turn the tables to try to make the kids take some responsibility. Brian tweeted me and texted me and said, Dad, there's something going on at the house. We have a situation. Brian Holloway is a former offensive tackle for the New England Patriots and L.A. Raiders. He was in Florida Labor Day weekend when his son got word there was a rager going on at the family home in upstate New York. The kids tried to say that I was at the party, which I was not. I was in the University of South Florida uh, studying. And at first I thought it was a joke. And I thought he was pranking me. That is, until he went online and saw kids posting about the party on Twitter, even as the police came to break it up. And so I'm watching these tweets and I'm listening to them saying, what a great party. I can't believe how drunk she is. Look, we can't wake her up. The, sh the sheriff's here. The police are here. Oh, we got to run, head out to the woods, you know, help them. Oh, we can't wake them up. Doesn't matter. Leave them here. And they're tweeting all this stuff. So I'm watching this thing as a movie and I'm going, you got to be kidding me. He says the place was a wreck. And punched holes in the wall and they kicked holes in the wall over there. Broken windows and doors, ruined carpets, graffiti, trash everywhere, including, he says, drug paraphernalia. I blew right past furious to being just in a state of shock. Holloway created this website and posted tweets from some of the kids he says were there. One reads, yeah, it's like so trashed. Another says, good thing we got away. But that person may have tweeted too soon. The local sheriff's office tells CBS News is taking the case seriously. A spokeswoman says the investigation involves 300 kids or more. What's damaged can be replaced. What's stolen can be returned. Thing is, what are we going to do about these 300 kids? How did they get this far? How did this make sense? And how do we get back on the right track? Now, Holloway says many of the kids who saw their tweets on his website called apologizing, but he says only one has shown up to try to undo the damage and help him clean up. Charlie Nora. What a story.